Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 15 of our Sable playthrough. Uh, we're gonna go... to... Burn Oak Station. Yes. We're gonna start by crafting some masks, selling some scrap, and trying to find Lore, the uh, spirit lady. Now, I asked around at Seven Sister Station, and they said she was trying to follow the path of the archer. I don't know what that means, so that's what we're going to figure out today. Does one become a mask caster? Is that a person? Is this some special entity? Like, what is it? You know? Can I what if that's what I wanted to become? When I grow up, I wanna go with the old voice. When I grow up, I wanna be a mask caster. That's what I wanna do, Dad. No, you can't be that. Why not? They're not one of us. Got the guards' masks. Now we make the climbing mask. Something else we also gotta do is... There was a weird point in the beginning of the playthrough where, like, I visited a Saren terminal, and then I visited a second one, and then when I visited a third one, it acted like it was my first time visiting a Saren terminal. So, I think I need to go back through terminals I've been to before and interact with them again. Even though I have all the recordings, maybe? I don't know. So, we may be revisiting some places we've been before. In an attempt to unlock, I'm assuming, the bike that's inside the whale. Sweet, we got our gecko climbing mask. Now we can claim the beetle mask. Not the most thrilling start to our day, but a start for sure. We got our beetle mask. Wonderful. All right. Got all our masks. Um, let's look at the old map here. So let's see. Cartographer, Carib's Hold, Shadow of Neve, Seven Sister Station. I remember there being like a lot of archer statues over here. Maybe it's over here where we need to be. I can remove that in there. I have two more markers hidden somewhere. Ooh, I don't think I've been there. And I don't need to go there. Also, I do want to... Is that related to the worm? I want to figure out what's going on with the worm. Uh, You know what? Yeah, let's, let's travel to the worm right now. Oh, they're dumping the garbage. worm. Something I do want to explore that I just saw on the map was Wait But 
putting down two markers. Because obviously this is the worm, but it's over here. Something else. Maybe it's just the map being weird, but I want to give it a look anyways. Oh, and we went past it. Okay, so yeah, it's just the map being weird. Uh, supposedly. Oh yeah, and then there's this thing. Maybe the key is to get inside of that weird thing. Let's go up here again, though. Almost up there. Maybe if we get off and we try and jump over there? Maybe there's something. I don't know if this will be tall enough or if we can fly uh, long enough. But we're gonna find out. I feel like it's our best shot. Out of all the nearbying, nearbying, neighboring places. Oops! Please climb. There we go. We can make it from here. Uh, 
I don't know. It doesn't feel high enough. How else would I get up there? Unless like climbing th up through the middle. It's worth a shot, maybe, but it's such a far trek. I don't. I just don't. You know what? Let's find out. Maybe if I can get on top of this mushroom. Not really a mushroom, but like rock. Let's see how outwardly will let me climb. Come on. Come on. I still don't think this is enough. We're gonna... We're gonna hope. Oh, come on! That's so close, though. <sighs> Jeez. We needed just, like, one more chunk of stamina. We're gonna... With 13. Alright, if we can find seven more two migs on our adventure, we can get to the top of that for sure. Alright, uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to that marker, because I'm unsure if I've been there. Shit, lore's gotta be somewhere over here, right? Alright, uh, in our Brunswick, I suppose. I forgot to sell my scrap at uh, Burn Oak Station. I'll have to be okay though. There's the. Either I've been there and I climbed it, and it's when that guy called me a small fry, or I haven't been there. I have a feeling that I have. Thank you. 
That doesn't. Yeah, Kemble's cube. Yeah, we've been here. A lot is not loading in. Up oh, and there it is. Okay, call me crazy, I guess. All right. So let's see. Wait. I'm here. I'm not here. Hold on. There is where I've not been. I don't believe I've been here. Yep, there's a worm there. Haven't been here. Rowl Rowley's Way. I guess we'll go up here first. Grab that. Dang. Okay. Uh -huh.
Alright, so we're gonna use this one to fling that one up there. Now we're gonna... This one up there. Pick this one. Also fling it up there. Oh, and then... We take this one back out and put it back over here. Shabam. And then we climb up here. We put one here. We take this one. We run over yonder. Shabam. Throw it up there. Ah. I see. Alright. So it went too far. We need to move that back over there to use as a stopper. So we're going to put this one over here. Give it the green light. It stops. It goes again. stops. Now we take this. We gotta redo all the launchiness that we did. So this one goes here. Oops. We take this one. it. Shabam. Oh, that's perfect. Whoops. Nice. And there's Saren. Hell yeah. And we will go back up for that little pod in just a moment. But let's talk to Saren first. Say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate it. You have unread messages, Sable. Recording 06. The text on the screen remains a mystery, but this time I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Older? Up and running for, the f for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth time. Radiation levels are approaching critical and only rising. Between that and the lack of breathable air, even our children's children will need productive gear to do so much as walk between ships. Deacon finally gave up the ghost last week. Age, nothing more. Just time. We've been lucky that way, I think. Guy never gave up on a corporate rescue mission. I gave him that. It's stupid. Even if they were floating up there, they have no way of getting down here, at least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere. Who knows? Singh pauses for a moment and sighs to himself. Saren, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up every once few years to try and send some long-range comms, but that's a job I leave to future generations. But this way, you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around this star. Hell, maybe more if anybody can figure you out. There's a break, and I think it's over, but... I'm sorry things ended up this way. I had hoped for better for us than to be stranded on a planet that wants to kill us, but won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make sense of this one day, but if anyone asks in whatever century, tell them I tried my best. I need to go take care of my people. For what it's worth, sir... I quite like the masks. Singh laughs, and it's sad, but sweet. Thank you, Saren. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts, and then say goodbye too. No unread messages. Goodbye. 
should go find Saren's terminal inside the whale. But first... Let's go get that final... Do Bobby. Which just means I need to... If I plug this in over here, can I do a sick 180 off of this? Let's find out. Whoops. I accidentally let go of it. I thought it didn't activate. It's my bad. Okay, yeah, we can do this. If, if we hit it right. All right, maybe it's not enough height. Um. That turns on that, it doesn't turn on this. Whoops. Can I just float from here to there? Please say yes. Please! Please, I beg of you! Oh! Thank God. Alright. Now that we got all that, I guess we'll return to the whale. Curiosity. There is. Okay. These chooms hide very well. Very sneaky fellows. Very sneaky, sneaky. I can't climb that. This one? I'm just missing two. Might be the first two I've ever visited. Guess we'll talk to Taryn though. Taryn? Saren. I say hello. You've recorded data from all six ships on this planet. Thank you, Sable. I'm beginning to understand. Saren trails off in an edge of doubt betraying their otherwise motionless figure. You now have full clearance, Sable, granting you complete access to the whale facility. I'm still missing two things, though. The bike in the chamber looks shiny and new, despite being ancient. I ask Saren if it's really for me. Yes, Sable, there is nothing stopping me from granting you full access to my facilities. Please avail yourself to this transport device. I assure Saren that I will use it to come visit as often as I can. I say farewell to Saren. I'm not done, I'm still, still says I'm missing two. I'm scared to try and get on the bike. 
kept in the whale for an incom incomprehensible long time. As it switches states, the mechanical glide fluidly. In. Mechanisms glide fluidly in a satisfying fluid moment. Movement. Bike front, perfectly preserved in the whale. The front of the bike is made from familiar looking metals, molded with precision, impossible for humans to replicate. The bike engine, an inaudible vibrating hum emanates from the sleek surface of this part. When you put your hands on it, it feels alive to every subtle movement made by the driver. She says I have full clearance. I believe that I'm missing two things. Hmm. Let's go to Burnt Oak Station real quick. I want to talk to Machinist. I may help customize bike. I want to try. Max speed goes way up. And she's still my Samoon. Never forget that. Whoa. Oh, she's fast. It's like, I wonder what the. This is just like a strafing. I've never understood exactly what strafing is for. Color is different. Still don't know what the ring shaped artifacts are for, though. Let's go. <laughs> Back to the station. We need to go talk to the scrapper. Um, oh, what's his name? Hi, it's like. Starts with an H. Again. No one read messages. What's this wispy looking fellow over here? start with an H. Sell scrap metal. See if we can't find lore. 
said to be following the path of the archer. Oh yeah, that's just stuff I sold to him. Um... I wonder if she's out at one of these, maybe? I could also just like select the quest and follow the compass, which would probably be our best bet before I run around aimlessly for the next however long. Searching for lore. Maybe find lore. She over. Well, I think we found her. I see a campfire. That took five whole seconds. It's just like, well, I guess we'll have to look around. And then we instantly spotted a campfire, which I can only assume is her. With her hawk like eyesight. And they're facing inward, so it must be the path of the archer. Oh. Whoa. The stranger by the fireside introduces themselves as Lore, the famous fabulist. If I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled lore, they vanished at the sight of her mask. A face turns. You're looking for me, aren't you? I'll be honest. I tell the lore that I'm here on behalf of the Atomic Priesthood. I see then, Glider. You come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to make me talk. But how I've gone astray. I'm not sure what to say next, and currently not... And certainly not in rhyme, so I give a sort of playful shrug. Laura shakes her head and looks to the skies, her mask shifting away. I know why the priesthood wants me. Truth be told, I miss them as well. I wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. What do you do for them? I'm a wandering fabulist. The poet's life, my choice. The priests ask me to spread safety and give their knowledge voice. She sighs. Good rhymes, nice. I tell Laura I like her rhymes. She thanks me with a little bow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word, they te treat me like a queen, but there's still something wrong. I'm at an impasse. As what kind, and she doesn't answer. What is your name? I tell her it's Sable. Sable, as a glider, you might have a particular insight into what I'm seeking. For what I desire is to choose a path, and you are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret maybe bordering on doubtful <laughs> the atomic priesthood however strange and severe have given me a very comfortable life i speak their truth i spread their word and well frankly i stop them being so bloody boring all the time she crosses her arms for that they treat me wonderfully i get anything i want so as long as i use my gifts to convey their message sounds stifling what does stifling mean I'm looking it up right now because I don't know. Uh, 
making one feel constrained or oppressed. That sounds, yeah, that sounds stifling. It does, it does, it does, it does. But it also means that I get to live a charmed life, and certainly more charm than most who make their living telling stories and singing songs. It's wonderful, really. So now I wonder, should I return to Ecria? No. I wish it wasn't such a strong no. Lord dismisses me again. No, no, no. It isn't that easy. Sable, well, don't you see? I've spent these weeks wandering the vastness of desert, traveling through towns and encampments, through ruins and wonders, asking myself questions. And I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions for which I have no answers. Perhaps if you can help me. I tell her, yes, sure, of course, please. Thank you. You have a glider's wisdom. Laura draws me close. Closer. And I look deep into the eyes of her mask. Sable, glider, what is the value of art? Is it spreading truth, or is it spreading joy? It's quite a start. I tell her, the value of art is joy. She nods vigorously. If we all get it, if all we get is just one life to live a little while, then it would seem a noble dream to give the world a smile. Fascinating, Sable. Really helpful. Was it? Next question. When you're faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much the same thing. Instead, These are hard questions. When you're faced with a challenge, what do you value? Caution or safety? I tell her I think that safety is more important than caution. Safety! Fascinating. And you answered so quickly. Lord clears her throat. When I first left the calling, I felt I was lost. That I had to go elsewhere, whatever the cost. So far out now, I wonder what I hope to find for this piece of myself. Did I lose peace of mind? Versatility. You've been so helpful, Sable. Thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you, still in your gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging in our freedom? To be fair to Lore, this gives me this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder is my purpose as a glider to see all places, or is it to find my place? I think on it and offer an answer. The purpose of such exploration is to indulge your freedom. I tell Lore that the point is to indulge our freedom. Fascinating. She breathes in. Our hearts are such patient things. They hate to be told no. So we seek out time while we're in our prime. But it's space we need to grow. Laura pauses after this last. I hear the wind blow past and then suddenly she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I've made up my mind, but I'll need another night or so to think on it. I ask Laura if she's going back to Ecuador or not. And she laughs. I find myself liking her laugh quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today. I feel quite refreshed. Take this badge, a token of contribution. She sits up straight. A glider named Sable, the fabulous lore, shared something today on the sands. I put faith in her judgment and I'll trust in her brain and my fate in her capable hands. Lore bows, and I must admit, I feel quite nice having heard that. Thank you, Sable. I know we'll meet again. I wish Lore the best, then tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. Oh no, she's got me doing it. <laughs> I should speak to Char Fernera in Ecri. Didn't explore around the sides, or even climb to the top. I wouldn't be me.
Now, can I climb on this part? I can. I have a feeling. Whether right or wrong, there could be something in here. And there isn't. And I'm happy I explored it. Alright, so I guess we'll head on back. Surprised there's no chew worm up here. Alright guys, uh, today has been episode 15 of our Sable playthrough. Uh, we made a few masks, we talked to Lore, she told us some rhymes. Um, we got uh, our, our new bike cosmetics for Samoon. Let's see if we can call her over to us. seem to be answering my call. Alright, well in the next episode we're gonna go see Lore. We're gonna figure out what the, hopefully, figure out what the ring-shaped artifacts are for. See if we can get those other two markers to light up green. Perhaps they just glitched out and they were supposed to light up green. Well, we will see in the next one. I appreciate y'all being here, catching the episodes. See you in the next one. Bye.